and welcome back guys to the LP of Sudden Strike Forever and this time we're continuing off where we left off the last time I think so let's continue on so we destroyed some of the forces that were attacking us we met our old friends and it would seem that we're still seeing some kind of enemy and I do not I have no idea who it is where it is Oh boy. And now I realize why don't I can't put that many mines anymore. I don't have that many soldiers. Which means we're screwed. So oh boy. Let's get our general a little bit. Now we're gonna start moving our tanks in a column formation facing the left side here. The point is for us to move all this towards this point, then transport them all towards this, the, the, the coastline here. This river banks, or whatever you want to call them. Destroy the bridges. Well, this one. And then move on here. Destroy this bridge. And then we are safe to say that, of course, clean the area. Move everything here and here. And start shelling the crap out of the bridges here and yeah anyway so let's move we're gonna do the old-fashioned style of moving I have no idea what that is but yeah Now, I think I said uh, that you can actually assault enemies with your guns you have at the moment. Now, let's see if these idiots will blow. Blow! Blow! Come on! There's a mine here that nobody gives a crap about. Nope! Man, you can do it. Yes! Okay. So we're ready for transport. Every single thing I have. I think, yeah, that's about it, lol. I don't have many things anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Let's hope for some reinforcements, but that ain't gonna happen. So. It's time to move in. Now let's first see what to expect here. You two idiots here. We move our snipers on our general. So we can actually notice what the hell is going on up front. Let's see if the bridges are intact. Yes. It would seem that, of course, the enemy wouldn't be using them in any way. Could they're quite small and useless for them. I'm gonna leave it on here so he can cover some stuff. Uh, I wonder if we're gonna find some kind of mines. There probably is two or three mines before the bridgehead, but a bridge it is. Uh, we'll find out soon enough when something goes boom. The thing is, being so close to the end game is so awesome and sexy panda. And all that crap. Man, honestly, it was a long run for this one mission. Definitely not a game to take lightly. As an add on, that is. Now I won't be needing the officers that much if I have generals, but I'm presuming I won't be having that many generals 
during the entire gameplay, the well, three missions. Well, the next two at least. Okay. Run away. As you have seen, something came close to us. It's, it's a Hummel or something. I think it's a Hummel or... Yeah, Hummel. -like. Again, doing all this will not be easy. We are open up flanks. We don't have much of the support in terms of what will come from the left, right. I have no idea because I don't have that kind of view of things. Hopefully, we won't be able to find that many enemies inbound on us. But as, we, as you have seen, there was one just creeping on us before we killed it. And no, like, no artillery shall go in us. So that, that's a big plus. No, go here. Oh, oh well, then you're already there. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, here, here, go here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sacrifice my soldiers. And they're gonna be scouts. Again, let's do a lighthouse thing <coughs> to see what is out there. Hopefully nothing, but there usually is something. We have now seen. They're still sending stuff at us. And they're all being creepy about it. thing is, as long as we don't get into their artillery range, all is good. Okay, let's feed our ISU. We need some ammo. As you have seen here, we have left our biggest tanks to guard our sides. We have middle tanks holding the middle ground. So if enemy comes, we'll know about it. And plus we'll just hit the weakest parts of theirs. If they come from, for instance, from the middle, we'll be able to hit the sides with their weakest. I don't know actually if actually that works that much in the favor of the... In, in the game as the side thing like their front armor is stronger than the the one in the back I honestly do not know with the sun strike if that's actually the case so we're gonna just see and feed this guns Now, I don't have to worry that much of the T-34s, they always have some good stuff on them, as in an ammo. More ammo than the usual guys, as you can see the ISU has only 20 rounds, so... You know, let's see, yeah. As you can see, uh, depending upon the, of course, the millimeter of the round, it eats more or less, so... Now in this truck we have lots of actual soldiers, so I'm my bad. <laughs> but still, I don't want to use them just for using them, for the sake of using them. But I think we'll, I will have to, to cover all this expanse. Oh, 
Also, I have uh, my one NKVD trooper and the officer. Of course, he's also trying to heal him, but no need. Okay, let's save. <coughs> so about the multiplayer thing, I'm not sure it's gonna actually happen anytime soon. I'm hopeful, but don't get my, you know, I'm I'm not getting my hopes up to be honest. I tried with my friends, uh, well my brothers it is, and um, uh, how should I say, you know, pixelated graphics, not a thing for the people that actually didn't get ever used to one. So, uh, now forcing them to play this, I will not. So, I know there is some kind of community out there, and I will probably do a blog or some crap like that, so I can actually get some people to do an LPs or multiplayer videos and send them out there. So we can actually have fun. You know, not specific to one forum, one site, uh, on, as a YouTube community. So I'm hopeful I will get something out of that. I mean, get something in terms of the Southern Strike videos. Again, I'm doing all this because I'm a fan and nothing else. I love Southern Strike series. Uh, I think they have beautiful graphics. What I love about this game, for instance, are the houses. I love everything. They're really artistic. For instance, if you look at this position here, you will see the little light in the houses. You know, these little details are something that I adore. And to me, in my eyes, they're all high res and all that crap because, again, you need to use a tad bit of imagination in these kind of games. And if you have none, that you're a poor person, to be honest. I consider people that have no imagination of any kind are poor people. Really poor. So, yeah. Again, imagination wins over anything. You know, I mean, hell spells. You wouldn't have anything out there. It would be just squares and circles. And you won't be getting much of the artistic value in terms of graphics, gameplay even. So, okay, so let's take. So I wanna scout this area. I'm gonna just use my troops, scout, kill. Oh, that will probably take some time, maybe. Uh, of course, I'll have one tank so it can destroy the bridge. And then we're gonna fast move towards this position. It's gonna be fun. Save. I don't know if I save now, I forget. I don't know, no matter, it doesn't care anymore. I don't care anymore, so let's continue on. <coughs> First let's check for the mines. We don't have don't want to have that mine problem again. The bridgehead. The bridge. I don't know why I'm using bridgeheads, it doesn't sound right. Again, you're hearing the music here from the U-boat, or, 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 I think that's Boot, that is, yeah, that's Boot. <laughs> uh, beautiful, beautiful movie, fantastic movie, one of the best. Loved every second of it. I consider it one of the best movies of all time, but again, there are many great movies, so one of the best, definitely. Oh boy. Airplanes. Again, those fucking airplanes.
Oh boy, I have a bad feeling about this. Come on, it's not fair. These ISU tanks, I mean IS-2 tanks tend to die a lot. Fuck you! And I lost everything else. Went well. Bye, uh, boy, oh boy. I guess as soon as you pass the bridge, they start coming. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> New problems. Yay. Seems the moment we start doing this, we get owned. As soon as that, I mean, past the bridge, you're dead. So I'm gonna put these guys here. Let's make a nice defensive position. Knowing where they're gonna come now is quite useful. Though I would prefer you guys, you have more ammo. This dude died, right? Yeah. Oh boy, now I have to make sure they don't pass through all this. Their visibility is gonna be stronger, of course, because they're gonna have a bunch of troops compared to me. kill these trees because they're evil. Let's put the defensive positions. Screw this. Okay, this is the field gun also. Uh, of course, I don't have ammo for my grenade launcher, so... Actually, this one has, so I'm gonna use him. Uh, 
And I'm gonna have to use all my troops now. Oh well. It's time to be useful. Not like you're gonna be any of use later on, I hope. Not. So... So these guys are mostly AT gunners, they're quite useless against the more specialized German troops. We, have, we at least have some NKVD troops, so... All those bells. I think this will be okay. the good stuff roll. Okay. So if the that damnable Hatzer or whatever it is comes to this position, he'll be on owned. Okay, let's save. Hopefully this will work. If not, we have to devise a new test strategy. So I'll send one idiot, him, across the bridge. Across the bridge! Joy for the motherland. I'm on you bastards. I know you're there. Ah, uh, the music from the British in Col Company of Heroes, the best one. I love the music Company of Heroes too, I love it, but everything else is bad. Okay, all of a sudden now they're not there, what the fuck is happening? And there they go. We don't need to die, go there. Here they come! Wow, that's a lot of bombers. And some of them are actually the transports. I mean, that's a tad bit retarded, but I guess. I mean, okay, they're transports and bombers. Oh no, there is only one transport, my bad. So, oh, oh my god, six bombers? We're so fucked soon. How weird is so much useful, I don't know. Wow, direct fire. Oh, we did a lot of damage there. Fuck tarts. Okay. <laughs> okay. How about we actually go here? Yeah, I think that's the best thing we can do. So here they're gonna fall.
Wow, and these guys were actually quite useless. <laughs> wow. Let's move them actually a little bit up front. You know, it's a bit like uh, this line here, I guess, you know. This is gonna be a joyous experience. Even with three AAs, we can't even do one da damage to one aircraft. Save it. Let's try this new tactic. Actually, I'm just gonna do it over the same one. It's just the tactical part. You know, like devising the same thing many times until it works. Get away from me, you mosquito evil thing. Wow, do you see the range on this thing? Damn, 122, man, 122. Perfect. They're coming. Here they go. Oh boy. So again, there is another tactic. Wow, really? Wow. It's sad. How now? Oh my god. Thank you. Useless AA guns. They're always useless when I'm doing the fucking thing. Oh man, look at the German officers. Let's just see how this will go. I'm so happy. <sighs> you know, there are so many kind of strategies you can do there. I mean, like, for instance, move all your forces up at this part again, you know, and then when they arrive, well, actually, this part, and then just own the fuck out of everything here without even sacrificing one person. So, you know, this strategy will lose all our men here, definitely. You know, but chills bells, I don't know, I don't know. 
I don't know what to try. To be honest, I'm in too much pain to care. Whew. Uh, okay, let's get these fuckers out of there. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna concentrate with snipers this position, kill all these bastards here. Uh, definitely will do damage to the paratroopers in this position, so they won't know what's coming to them. But again, uh, quite useless AA guns, even if what you know one plane can be killed. You know that that's quite problematic. I and mean, in its own right, so you know. So let's first destroy these trees, and then move our officer. Where am I gonna move the ISU? Hmm. You know what? I'll just put him here. Somewhere. I don't know, honestly. Where am I gonna put the damnable big freaking tank? Uh, okay. I definitely will be able to heal, maybe, with one of these tanks. Maybe. I don't know how, but health spells. I mean, not like this uh, huge amount of munition will actually help in healing these huge freaking tanks and refueling them at the same time. Oh, all in all, we'll try a few tactics. You know, it's gonna be awesome. Not, if not, I'm just gonna move everything again here, and then you know, be awesome about it. So let's try this. Q W, yes. I didn't destroy the fuck out. Oh, fuck's sake, demon. Yeah, enough. Okay. So, you. Test the dummy. Go in there. I can't enter any of these houses, so yeah. You're definitely gonna get screwed. Again, if I actually move my line back here, for instance, I don't know what's gonna happen with the paratroopers that fall. But at least I will be able to destroy the officers before they see me, and they literally might not even reach this. But else, else, I don't know. We'll see. One by one. This will take actually a while because this, this is actually quite a big force. Well, not really. I mean, but killing infantry is harder than killing tanks sometimes, and getting bombers on your fucking head is not easy, also. And one thing also to save most of my troops would be fatal to say the least. You know, let me just see this. Of course, no reinforcements while the Germans are getting plentiful. So you see how this can be hard. And unbelievable how bombers are so strong compared to the transporters. How now? Oh, you see, this, this this is annoying me. Now this is dead, and this is dead, and those are dead. How the fuck did that happen? I'm 
not seeing the transporter yet, so... Oh god. That's King Taiga. Also, I have no idea where the damnable transporter went. There it goes, but it's, it would seem that they had dropped in somewhere else. So what did we lose? Nothing, really. Okay, Tiger died, now King... Oh, wait. Right. Woo! Nice. Reality-wise... before he can actually turn anywhere. I love how their freaking artillery is so precise. You know, I think I already spoke about this, but if we did a multiplayer for this, this would never actually happen. Most people don't have like 58 senses. So am I happy with the thing we did? Not really, but you know what? It's better than nothing. And to be honest, I have no idea where the paratroopers went and I don't want to know. So I'm just gonna save and be happy about it and finish it here. Sorry guys, this was not very long and informative or I, I don't even actually know if you actually can hear my fucking voice. But I don't care. So I'm just gonna move on. Yada yada yada. So all best to you. See you soon, I think. I don't know how the hell is it turned